Good evening, everybody. It is Tuesday, July 19th, 2022 at 7, 6.20 p.m. And it is time for gratitudes and prayer list prayers. Alexa, cancel. I like to start with something funny and that's going to be the screen cap of this video or the title, like the title uh, frame. So be sure to uh, check that out. Though, we're not going to comment on, I mean, no, I don't have any commentary uh, on that subject, at least not right now. So it's, uh, you know, it's reasonable to assume that the video is going to be about like what the title screen kind of, you know, jokes about if it's a, if it's a humorous one, but I don't think so today. So, all right. I just happened to, you know, um, come across it. I did it yesterday or the day before, and I thought, oh, you know what? That'll make a funny title screen. Most people that are in ministry um, find it difficult for various reasons to, uh, well, definitely to joke about um, clergy abuse of minors. Um, and especially because I mean, like, how are you joking about it? It's not, it's not a laughing matter, you know what I mean? Like, what, you know? Um, but at the same time, you know, for things that are humor, we all, at the same time, we all know that humor plays a really important role in helping us to kind of wrestle with, with uh, challenges in life, you know, whether it be death, divorce, um, the priest abuse, you know, clergy abuse. Um, but of course, you know, it depends on where the humor is coming from and when and, and who, you know, who's present and stuff like that. Um, and so, of course, you know, most clergy are don't want to go there, you know. It's a uh, it's just an uncomfortable thing. However, you know, I have the benefit of not being <clears throat> in ordained ministry in any of the Christian institutions that are established, you know, like the Roman Catholic Church or the Episcopal Church. Because if I were, I probably wouldn't be using that for that. You know, I probably would. Even if I thought it was funny, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not. You know. <clears throat> um, Thankfully, I, I don't have any such restriction, whether it be, you know, explicit or implied. And so here we are. Um, and that allows us also to talk about it, to talk about exactly that. And I have discussed that a few times in different videos. Um, so. I'm grateful to be here right now. I'm grateful to have all my dishes done. I'm grateful for a clean house. Um, I've, I've, the last couple days I've been sleeping. I spent a lot of time, as I mentioned the other day, sleeping. And then when I've been up, I've been working on other, other projects. Um, a little bit of music and also a lot of graphic design uh, when, I've been, when I've been awake. And so, and that is my custom, by the way, too, as I mentioned as well. But during that time, you know, dishes can pile up and everything. And since I don't have my normal energy level, I can't do them like I usually do. So there was a little, you know, my kitchen was a little messy, you know. But uh, so that's all taken care of. Um, I'm grateful that the Lord always allows me to get to, you know, maybe a little bit of a delay. And that happens, you know. Um, but he allows me to you know, keep it clean, and generally speaking, so it never gets too bad or anything like that, so I'm very, very grateful for that. Also, I've decided, da, 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 or the Lord has decided, and I have decided, you know, I guess and I did not disagree, because that would be, what, what point would there be in that? Um, <laughs> that uh, oral hygiene is going to become, at least temporarily, a part of 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. video, prayer videos. So it'll be at the end of those, um, of those services. Um, try that because I've been with the way I've been 
feeling with what's been going on. It's just, it's, I'm, I'm falling behind in brush. It's so weird because everything else, you know, I take care of it. It's like everything else is done except that. And I, uh, it's important to me. So I'm going to try that and see if that works. Can, you know, manage to maintain that, you know, if, because uh, the reason I was hesitant to add it into any of the videos is to lengthen the time during a time where I'm not feeling well and have um, it just not work out. It's cold, like, you know, I, I felt that it wouldn't work at the, the last time I considered it, so I just didn't even bother. Um, at this point, though, I'm going to, you know, give it a shot because um, too much time has passed and start brushing and glossing. You would think, right, when one, get out, when one gets out of the shower, that would be the easiest time to do it, but it has not happened. So we'll, we'll try this. And I was remarking to a friend just a little bit earlier how apropos it is for this ministry, because this is addiction ministry, and part of that very big part of that is what I call maintaining the integrity of the form and so there's no better thing to include in the video than praxis at maintaining the integrity of the form so In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray for our president, our, I'm sorry, our leaders in government, our President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and all members of the U.S. Congress. One more thing I forgot. Candles are back in now. Why? Because I have observed, after I've taken them away, to observe that they were, if it was indeed the candles that were having an effect on the carpet, um, no. No. And uh, namely that I, for the period of time that we didn't use candles, I was going to see if, okay, maybe it'll not get worse and as I vacuum it'll lessen. No, and that's not what's happened. So uh, having ruled the candles out, we have candles again, they're back. So that's cool. We pray for our governor in California, Gavin Newsom and his family. In San Mateo County, we pray for all police, fire, and emergency personnel, as well as the Human Services Agency and the Department of Housing, and for all county agencies and workers not specifically named. In South San Francisco, we pray for our Mayor Mark and all members of the South San Francisco City Council. In San Francisco, we pray for Mayor London Breed and all members of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. We pray for the GLB TQ POS community, especially the trans community, those living with HIV and AIDS, the sick and the suffering in general, those living with home through homelessness at the present time, for uh, victims of COVID-19 and COVID-19 long hauler syndrome, for abode services and life moves, both of which help homeless people find, get into, and stay in housing, and for clergy suffering with addiction and chemical dependence. Excuse me, I'm going to make a cup of coffee real quick. I'll be right back. I'm just going to turn the water on and come right back.
misspoke. I have to put together my French press. I'll be right there. And last but not least, we pray for clergy suffering with addiction and, and chemical dependency. We pray for all ministries inside and outside of the church, for all clergy and all religious, and for lay leaders alike, especially our Holy Father Pope Francis, Pope Benedict, Bishop Mark Hanley Andrus, Archbishop Salvatore Cordelione, St. Gregory's Abbey, Three Rivers, Michigan, Hospitality House in San Bruno, See Episcopal Church in South San Francisco and San Bruno, the Diocese of California, the Archdiocese of San Francisco, Reverend Patrick Driscoll, St. Veronica's Catholic Church in South San Francisco, the Reverend Deborah Hawkins, Bishop Louis Jelano, St. Bruno's Catholic Church in San Bruno, the Reverend David Grant Smith, and Emmanuel Church in Newport, Rhode Island. You know what I was just thinking about? And I'm not going to do it right now because of, because of the reason I'm going to tell you. So at least I'm going to talk about it, though. And I know that I'm not alone. Um, a while back, you know, a lot of people, a lot of things are on this prayer list, um, you know, a lot of groups in here are uh, people that uh, are relevant to me personally. You know what I mean? So you think of them right away, right? Like, People suffering with COVID-19 long hauler syndrome, all right? Um, GLBTQ pause community, you know? Um, life moves in boat services, both of which help me get in here. Clergy suffering with addiction and chemical dependency. Um, you know, I was homeless, all right? 
Um, in fact, oh God, that makes me mad. Now, now I don't even definitely want to put it on there. <laughs> um, but see, the thing is, also too, I have. I was talking about one day. Like, imagine this is the coffee. I'll be right back. I do five minutes. I like a nice strong cup. Okay. Um, so, I, and I put people down before that. I, you know, Vladimir Putin's down there. You know what I mean? That's also two in the names. Um, but see, I thought, like, for example, like, we should, you know, people should pray for Hitler, too. But, like, who's going to do that? You know what I mean? Like, who wants to have, you know, you, definitely not in a church because, like, you know, we don't want somebody. I mean, first of all, even if no new people show up, the people that are there are just not going to be cool with it. You know what I mean? I mean, and how would you feel if you were visiting someone's church and like during the memorials that like they read like Adolf Hitler? Wouldn't that freak you out a little bit, right? Wouldn't you think you were like in some like is this a white nationalist church or something or what? Um, but the funny thing is, is that's you know we're exactly supposed to pray for a lot of people that we don't we that we don't even want on our prayer list. And I was just thinking as I was going through, I would like, you know, I need to pray for abusive clergy. And I'm like, I'm not putting that down with a bunch of groups that I'm associated with. Someone's going to show up here and see that. Uh, uh, uh. And I feel bad about that. And I'm glad I do feel bad about that. I'm glad I do feel bad about that. Because I, you know, like, I mean, don't beat yourself up over it too. Because there's a time and a place, you know, for everything. It's like, you know, it may be understandably. It may not be. But the thing is, is that, like, the important thing is that we do think about it. But it should kind of impact us that, you know, we're essentially not willing to extend the most uninvasive form of help for a group of people, or non-invasive, you know, for a group of people, because we don't like the association. I think we should feel a little bit bad about that. That's what makes, you know what I mean? It, it, a, little, a little bit of that kind of makes us, keeps us good people, you know? Um... You know, and especially, especially pedophiles, honestly. Pedophiles are like the criminals that no one has, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, God, I can't imagine being, any, you know, being, being in a worse situation in life than being a pedophile, really, you know? It's like, uh, you know, too, and they say that, you know, Jesus says to visit people in prison, and he means, of course, pedophiles, too, anybody, you know, but... If someone had to pick a group of, you know, for the community visit, I bet you a lot of people would like, I'm going to go visit a pedophile, you know? Because, like, again, because of that, you know, that association. Like, why would you want to go offer support to someone that molests children, right? I, now, that sounds like, now, if, if, you, if you didn't say it like me just now, the, the other way you could say, would, the other way you would probably say that is, like, sounding like someone on Fox News. Like, why would you want to go do that? Like, you know, um... Because it's not about offering support to someone that has children. It's about offering support to somebody that is alienated and hurting and in trouble. So, and unfortunately, most of us don't have the courage without a little bit, you know, without doing something. I'm not putting that group down today, but I, I intend to at some point. And that's a step. Right now, talking about it is a step for doing that. Because I feel better already, at least a little bit better, just having just gotten that out. And then, what I can do is this. On days right later, if I feel weird about it, when it's on there, I can go, you know, I've talked about this, and, da, 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 and I feel I'm covered. You know what I mean? I can point to this right here, this video, and I feel good. Whew, good. I've said what I had to say about that. You know? 
Because, you know, it's true. It's, there's nothing wrong with also, too. I mean, there's, some, there, there's something valid in not wanting, you know, if you, uh, not wanting to be associated, you know, want, not wanting the association. There's, I mean, that's understandable. But um, but it isn't so much like when it when it prevents us from doing what we should, what's right. You know, um, unfortunately, they they can't they often don't exist in, in exclusion of the other. Uh, so we have to deal with them both at the same time. And uh, this is the way I'm doing it right now. This is by doing that. And um, um, I've done this with so many things. You know, with so many things like where I had anxiety about something. I just was like, I'm gonna bring this up. I'm not ready to, to do anything about it yet, but I know if I start talking about it, eventually I'll be in that place to move along. So, look at that, we did talk about abuse of clergy today, isn't that something? Um, and that's not a guarantee either, I can tell you right now. I've been, there have been times I didn't say a damn word about, well, no, that was Holy One. I was gonna say about the Adams Family Holy Wednesday uh, humor screen or humor title cap, but that yeah I did because it was Holy Wednesday. So, but um, some it's happened. It's happened. You know, I wonder if Keurigs have improved. I haven't had a cure. I haven't had cure coffee in a long time. It's great for convenience, but it always, to me, it's too. Like, you know, they force. I mean, yeah, you want a quick cup of coffee. It's so fast that it's like you know, they shoot the water through the, the grinds in like like half a second, and so that way, what do you end up with? You end up with a coffee that's like not full flavor. But I wonder if they've improved it, that. You know, I wonder if they found a way to. You know, one way they probably could have proved it. Not in, not in the house. How they could probably do it industrially is get you a fast cup of coffee that like that's not that bad. Is send it through like a longer like you know what I mean like a tunnel that's like this long. Shoot the water through there. By the time it comes out, it'll have more you know more than like it, distance than it would a curate. But I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't know. I mean, it might because if it's contacting grinds the whole way through. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I don't know. That's not directly related to addiction ministry, but the fact that you're thinking stuff like that means that like you're in a good space for addiction ministry. I can tell you that. So, all right. I pray for all members of my family, especially my father Alex and mother Cheryl, as well as Kara Masick, Erwin Rossmeyer. Joshua, Jesse, Ben, and Max, my brothers, Mark, Jesse, and Diane Darling, Bob Ottaviano, Anna and Theata Crumbie, Jocelyn Gerard, Donna Brown, and Diane Carlson. I also pray for these members of my extended human family I name aloud, beginning with Junior Irwin, Stuart Packman, Eric Mosnes, Keegan Forbes, Michael Nold, Coulter and Rhiannon, Richard Simmons, Jim White, Andrew Marmelstein, Dave Maloney, Keith Watley, Jimmy Harder, Michael Zorns, Tony Vucetich, Aaron Rogers, Ruben Padilla, Travis Carpenter, Kurt Ferry, Larry Burdett, Janine and Mike Jones, TJ Hostomsky, Drunk Phil, June, Ann and Sam, Lou and Gina, Peter Steeler, Daniel Hudson, Clifton Barrett, Raul and Barbara Laborde. I also like to pretend that 
I know it's a difference between drip coffee and perk coffee, but you know, I as much as I would love to, because I love percolators, you're, I, in a blind test, I, I would not be able to tell. I don't know about you, what you think. I know what you, I, I, I know, I know the answer for you, but you may not. Okay, I don't think you're gonna be able to do it. I don't care what you say. Um, I think sometimes people like per, per coffee for the same reason that people like vinyl records in the age of digital. And that is something other than strictly quality. 